Hello everyone, this is B-Belt Den, and welcome back to Blender, where I am making the D7 Klanon Cruiser. As you can see, the model, for the most part, is complete, or at least I'm going to say it is completed. Uh, you know, there's still, uh, it's not necessarily the most detailed model that is out there, but I think this still stays, in my personal opinion, within the spirits of, you know, the D7 and that when we seen it, it was on screen, on television, uh, in the original series, it had a low budget. The model itself wasn't really all that detailed. So I'm gonna keep the 3D model somewhat kind of basic. Uh, if you were following along at home or you're making this yourself, of course, you can use your own judgment call on how you want this model to look. If you want it to be more high poly, high def, then you could definitely do that and just, you know, kind of spring off of this base model. And if you're wanting to use this inside a video game or anything, or in kind of a background ship within a movie, and you want to try to keep the render times down by using low poly models, then this would work too. The only thing that's really high poly, I believe, was this, and maybe this right here, but the rest, oh, and this, just basically this portion right here but the rest of it i kept the poly count down relatively low and i think we got a decent uh result i'm not going to say it's 100 percent accurate or 100 percent correct and there still are a couple of anomalies but i want to go ahead and kind of close this series because i got some other stuff coming up and i don't want to be coming back to this however within this episode as you probably saw from the title, is that I'm going to finish this up by actually showing, by actually texturing this. And I'm going to be showing you how I kind of texture it. Now, the, the process that I am using by, and let me, a little disclaimer, is by no means the best way, nor is it the only way. It's just a way that you can uh, texture this. And this would be more of looking at coloring it and texturing it if you don't have any ex a whole lot of experience into uh, you know uv mapping or photoshop and texturing and creating your own textures and what have you or you're in a time constraint and you need to try to get this model done and out but it doesn't have to be once again it's kind of in the background it doesn't necessarily or it's in a video game and it's not really being you know, it's criticized and you need to really try to get this done quick as possible. This is going to be a, or you're just downright lazy. This would be the kind of the way to do it. So let's jump right into it. As we can see, it's using the basic default kind of blender gray on every single part here. I've went ahead and on some of these, I've applied any modifiers I had, especially the mirror modifier. But others, like this right here, oh, not that one, this right here, I have not. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. But I want to try to get rid of this, you know, gray all over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a piece. Doesn't matter which piece it is for right now, say, like this piece right here. And I'm going to go over into the Material tab. And I'm going to select this plus sign to create a new material slot. And then down here, I'm going to click on new material. And I'm going to go ahead and name this material by double clicking up here. And I'm going to call this Klanon uh, Green. It's not technically green, but, uh, you know, the Klanons have been known to have green hulls. But when this ship was out, it was kind of, kind of a, you know, an off-white color a uh, little bit lighter than this but we're going to go ahead and try to come up with a color that's somewhat in between the green and the color that they had on the original series so to choose that i'm going to go over into the diffuse panel click on this and move this around until i get a color that i think i would be satisfied with let's give it a little bit more blue and yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. I think it has kind of a nice screen and you can go through and do the same thing on all the models once you, or all the other meshes, if you like, see what you like, such as here, just do the same thing, create a new material slot for that. But instead of going to new, I'm going to click over here to browse for materials and click on that same 
uh, texture there and do the same thing. One, two, as you can see, I've already had other materials added in. I'm just going to go through and just keep rinsing and repeating throughout the whole model. I think you could, let's see, can I do this? Nope, you can't. Got to do it. Each one, and this one does take a little bit of time. If you're lazy and you don't, you want to try to get through it quickly, well, there's not really much of a fast way to do it. Just go through and select all of these. I'm going to go, so, yeah, just select everything. But what now what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm selecting everything that I want to be this whole green. And everything that is going to be a different color, such as these grills, I am leaving alone. I do not want to color those. But if you do happen to get a color such as like I click, I want to click this, but I end up clicking this instead and assigning that a green. I don't like it. Just select that button and it'll remove it. So I think this should be the last one. Yes, it does. Oh, and also I went through the model and I removed uh, just for right now piece, pieces of the mesh that I want to have a different color. And to do that, all you do is just go into edit mode, select on the faces that you want to remove, press P and say select. And it separates it off into another mesh. And then you can go ahead and texture that separately. That's just a way so you don't have to go in and assign everything and, uh, you know, mess with the textures later and assign. You make sure you're assigning the correct texture to each thing. Of course, we will be doing that a little bit later, but just, whoops, okay, I got to go into there. There we go. But just for right now, that's what I went ahead and decided to do. Plus, it's going to help me a little bit later on down the line with some of the tricks and stuff that I want to do. Now, looking at that, it's kind of a greenish color. I think it passes for what we see on the original series as opposed to what we see um, in the next generation with later versions of the ship. However, I got these here. I don't want to leave those the base color. I could very well do it. I'm going to go into render mode so we can see what that looks like. So to color these, I just do the same thing. Select on one. Go ahead and new material slot. A new material. And I'm going to call this one clay non gray. Except instead, I'm going to go ahead. I already have a clay non gray, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one I've already used. So now I'm going to go through and do the same thing with all of these select plain on gray and I'm kind of cheating here I've already used one that I've already created I go through this is the reason about why I'm applied one of the reasons why I apply I did not apply the mirror modifier on everything yet because then if I did like this right here whoop not that this one right here I would have this side and this side uh, I'm just going to go ahead and whoop just go ahead and select that and that. Well, I just, all I got to do is work on one side and it'll immediately mirror onto the other side. If I did the, apply the mirror modifier, I would have to work on both sides. I don't want to do that. So let's go through here and that's what I'm doing. And it's starting to kind of, say it looked like something is starting to kind of get that gray look. And we have this piece right here, which is actually the impulse engine. And I'm going to want to give that a different color, which I already have called impulse. And I'm going to go ahead and create that. Now, the one thing, though, about the impulse, actually, I'm going to go ahead and create, the, create this from scratch. Because I want to show you the impulse is going to be a little bit different. When I select on this and create a new texture, I can just go in and, you know, go to the color that I want. I want it to be red. I can name it whatever I want. I'm going to name this impulse red. And that should be fine. I mean, we look through here. Everything looks good. But if we was to render this in a more realistic environment, 
if I'm to turn off ambient occlusion, well, there's a problem there. It's rendering it black. Uh, you know, this is an impulse engine. It's supposed to be lighting red. So to get that look, what I need to do is I need to go over to shading and go ahead and apply a emittance factor. Uh, so I'm going to, you could either input a number or you can just kind of just click in here and drag. And what that does, that's telling Blender that I want that material to show its own light or actually emit its own light. And by the way, I'm using Blender Render. The process would be different for Cycles Render, but I'm using Blender Render because it'll get the effect that I'm wanting for this project. And it takes a few less steps than if you was to do Blender Cycles. Uh, but that's that's a completely different beast. But this still all works in what I'm wanting to do here in Blender, in the regular Blender render. And right there, see, it's emitting. So now I could be in complete darkness, but I'll still see that light. So you want to need to change the emittance and take a look at it. And you can also go through and change other colors as well. Let's say like if this here, this green color, everything that's green, looks like it's just a little bit too it's not quite you know emitting the light that i want it to i can go through here and change some other settings such as the hardness you know if we put it to zero a lot of light is shining off if i go ahead and move this down i can get it to where less light if we can see down here is shining off you can also change on how it deals with the lighting. There's different, you know, effects like tune right there. Almost kind of gives it look like a cartoon. Uh, you know, you know, each one affects how, how that light is bouncing off of it just a little bit differently. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on this Fong shader and other shadings are settings you really don't have to mess with too much specular is like what color the light as it bounces off of it but just for the sake of this i want to keep it just as is let's go ahead and for the sake of this turn back on ambient occlusion and there we go so far so good this is a good model however there are supposed to be windows on this and we're not seeing any windows so if you want to add in windows what we're going to need to do is select whatever mesh has the windows on it go back into your material setting i'm going to go ahead and turn this back onto solid and what i want to do is i want to go ahead and click on this to add another material slot and i want to give it a new material or actually, do I already have that material? Well, I do, but let's just go ahead and call it. This material, I'm going to go ahead and name it Lights On. And let's say I know that some of these lights are going to be off. So I'm going to create a new material same way and call it Lights Off. Going back to Lights On, I'm going to make sure that I have it to where it's white. Let's go ahead and have the emittance. Let's do a 0.5 for right now and lights off, I'm going to have it to where the diffuse, I'm going to make it dark. Not completely black, but dark. Make sure that your mid's down to zero. Now, from here, you're going to have to go into edit mode. So you could press tab. Now you're going to need to make some decisions at this point. Go into your face select and select the faces of the windows that you want to have on. So I'm going to go through here and select some windows at random. Whoops, not that one. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's go over to the other side. And you could keep the subdivision or the mirror modifier on this and just have it to where the same windows you have on on this side will be turned on on the other side as well. Uh, that's fine. Uh, me, I'm going to go ahead and just work on it both sides. There's not that too many windows. But once you select all the windows that you want on, oops, I forgot that one right there. Let's go ahead and turn this one on too. 
this guy is being kept up by this guy down here. Go ahead and select the material, which we want lights on, and go down here and click Assign. And what that does, that assigns all of those faces that material. So if we go out of edit mode, there we go. Now we have lights on. Now we go through and we do the same thing with all of the others that we want it to where for whatever reason, those lights are off. Nobody is working in those rooms. Somebody's asleep. You know, Klanons get to sleep too. Oop, I forgot a window there. Let's just go ahead and finish these. Boop, and one, two, and that guy right there. Go to lights off and click assign. And now all of those are assigned. So now we have lights and because they're emitting, if we go back into our rendered, into our world and turn off ambient occlusion, there we go. Now we got the ship flying through space with some lights on. We need to do the same thing here. So let's go ahead, go back to this, do the same thing, add two new material slots and go back through and choose lights off. Select the other one, lights on. Go back into edit and let's go ahead, make sure your face select and select all of the windows that you want on. They got a poker game going on right there. So all those lights are on. Let's see, we'll leave those two lights off. Let's see, go over here, select those, select that, select that. And these here we'll select. Go to lights on, sign those. Now go through and click all the other ones to assign them off. Let's see that one, that one. I think we're good. Lights off, assign. And there we go. Almost done with the windows. There are some windows on this part right here. So we can just go ahead, do the same thing, rinse and repeat. I'm going to keep all the lights on because these are hallways that, uh, you know, this is just one big hallway. There's no really rooms or anything along here. Hallways so they can get back and forth from this part of the ship to this part of the ship. So I think those lights are always going to be on. And there we go. Starting to look real good. Now, from this point, you could actually go ahead and say, look, I'm done. That's it. You know, j job's done. I can go ahead, put this into my scene. And, you know, with the right type of lighting, it would look good. It would definitely pass as a Klanon ship. You know, you can go through and add some additional colors and stuff. But I want to go just a little bit deeper real quick, but still at the same time keeping it to where I could do the least amount of work possible. There are... All right, everyone, sorry for the abrupt ending, but I had to cut this episode into different parts. So if you would like to go ahead and see what I do from here, just please keep a lookout for part two. Otherwise, if part two has already been released, you should be seeing a link to it within somewhere around this page. So see you then.